All right, guys, here it is. Finally, finally, the Autobahn Dan Toolbox Tour is gonna be part two. We're gonna get into this box and kind of a little bit overview of the last video, part one of my setup. And uh, yeah, part one is mainly my my overall setup. This would be a little overview of this setup and getting into the toolbox here. Yeah, it's very hard for me to be here after work. Everybody shuts the door on me and uh, kicks me out. Everybody's out at two o'clock on Friday and I actually get to stay this Friday and do this awesome toolbox tour for you guys. And uh, yeah, grab a six pack or more, maybe a 12 pack, this might take a long time. <laughs> Let's get on to it. Okay, so the other day it was slow enough for me to finally finish this drawer project. Check out my video on the drawer project that I uh, finally got the drawer in. And uh, I left these caps off for a while. I finally got them painted the other day. Had enough time, had no cars come in and had a good chance to put the uh, many coats that I wanted on this. It was just regular engine enamel. It's pretty nice for engine enamel right there. <laughs> so uh, yeah, turned out freaking awesome. Awesome, awesome. Love this setup. Um, got the stainless steel tops uh, three years ago, 2017 I believe. And uh, a year before that, I was slowly getting these boxes in because uh, my dealer was just having a hard time getting these boxes. I wanted a, a gray color at first, but then we went with the simple black because they had black in stock. And then we well, got that. That was a disaster. Came in damaged in the back and I ended up fixing it. It was just a small dent in the back, but uh, I just wanted to get it done. It was, just, it was a year long drag of just getting these three pieces in and all the, oh, actually four pieces, the three stainless steel tops and the two boxes. Uh, at least he threw in the, uh, the Foos stool, which is nice. Very nice stool. Fits in perfect here. And uh, yeah, can't put any more drawers in because it'll hit when you sit in here. Nice little workstation setup. What's cool about this is that you can roll it away. It's not permanent. It's not a, like a regular workstation where it's stationary and it's pretty much done. Can't roll your way out of here. You're pretty much permanent. <laughs> um, not a fan of hutches. Um, I like bench space. That's my, my thing. Um, those only go a foot deep, that's it, and that's a little bit more, I think it's like 15 inches a little bit further out, and um, that's like a, from webstaurant.com, a, web, a website for restaurants, I got that stainless steel shelf there for all my um, go-to um, supplies up there, and got the clock up there, and the uh, Milwaukee hood light, the gear wrench rack, light for the gear wrench rack it's a, that's the butterfly set up here not too fond of the battery life on that I'm kind of going back more towards the Milwaukee because I could just switch a battery out uh, got all my clamps here my creeper snap-on creeper my pedal depressor calendar AWP old man pad there <laughs> and my uh, tripod where you get to see all my videos out of and uh, Omen devices, uh, flashlight, the uni light, uh, 1250R, this is nice. It's got the nice colors to it. And a UV light, and it's a power bank. The hook there, the light there. This thing's like the Swiss Army knife of lights right here, 1250 lumens. It's the uni light CRI 1250R. And uh, the neck lights from Easy Red, you've seen these everywhere. Sucks you have to charge uh, with the Y cable on these, but uh, yeah, it's not bad. Um, this is the Uni Light 1250R, I think. What is this thing? Oh, SLR 2500. And that's the brand name of the shelf right there. And this magnet is insane. <laughs> we put that on a bench and I could not remove it. <laughs> that's why it stays on that light. So that that uh, magnet is actually separate from the light. If you look on their website, it's separate. Um, got the Capri light here. Uh, I don't, I'm not too fond of the, the, the LED part, but the black light part, the black light LED part is very nice. It's very bright. Love that part. That's my uh, go-to for UV leaks. 
Uh, got the uni light. Um, this is the IL275R. And this is the other new gear wrench light that uses USB C. This one just uses a, a micro USB and it, and it doesn't have any memory. The gear light does have memory. Um, what else here? As far as the setup, oh, I didn't talk about the Tinker mat here. This is made out of uh, the trunk liner stuff that uh, you see in the back of SUVs and stuff. So it's kind of like a harder rubber plastic. Tinkermat.com is where you can find these. Very nice. Put your coffee here in the morning and sort out your stuff. Do electronics here. Very nice for electronic work. Turn modules apart. Freaking awesome. This is my uh, True View flashlight. The battery life sucks on this, but I just have it here. Just have a flashlight handy for everybody. If anybody needs to go to a car, look at a car real quick, they can grab this flashlight and easily see it when they need it. And um, this is the gear wrench Bluetooth speaker. Not too bassy, but it sounds pretty good. Uh, it's got uh, USB-C. No, it's a U uh, regular micro USB. And I think it's a power bank too, I'm not sure. Here's my Milwaukee drink mat. You get this at milwaukeetoolswag.com. You gotta enter that in the, the um, upper uh, part of the website on the, on the link whatever the top bar you know what i'm talking about you gotta enter milwaukeetoolswag.com or else you won't find that website it's it's a weird website uh switch is for the heater and we have the um ever bright rechargeable hat light I keep my razor blades here handy another magnet over there i think these are the socket straps i just got these things are awesome i need to do more uh, testing with that and um, yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. I got the grippy mat up here and the bolster mat here. Organize your bolts here in the job that you're not familiar with. Pretty cool. My charging cables over here, more plugs over here. I like using the old school manual Milton uh, air inflator. Always love the manual. The hose reel right here, another fan up there. We already went the, over the cart. Keep my other grip D over here, my mighty vac vacuum. Those things are awesome when you don't want to spill coolant and you're topping off. You just suck it out real quick. And there you go on that. Um, so far, I think that's it on the outside. And let's get on to the cabinets. These cabinets I scored for about 40 bucks altogether. And I, um, wrap that one and I put the carbon fiber sticker on it and um, yeah it turned out pretty nicely I still need to do the side here and um, let's get on to this one right here I clean them up and restore them a bit I got my snacks here got uh, Mac tools timing light this is the old school right here this is uh, for you that I haven't seen a timing light before. This is cool, it's got a strobe function, I mean, a flashlight function, and an RPM on it. This one's pretty cool. Always can, so you can see the uh, crankshaft. Really easy, you can find the mark. Here's this, this is a OTC cylinder leakage tester, the 5609. You guys all seen these. Um, that is uh, just a spare box of my headphones. And here is the owner's manuals to my car. I just have them there for the heck of it. And um, here's quarter inch Milwaukee set minus the ratchet. And I think a few other things. Huh? This is a pretty much an okay set. The sockets just don't fit right on some of the other ratchets. So keep that in mind. It's okay. I like the concept a little bit. It doesn't quite roll away too much on you. And you can Got the four flats, but yeah, not too much of a fan of them. I thought they were gonna be cool, but uh, yeah, just the fitment on it. If they could have just went a little bit more on the quality. That's your part number right there. This coolant tester is older than dirt. The Stant 12-270 or ST-270. 
and my um, AST tools adapters for BMWs. And this is the other old adapter that comes with it. Yeah, it's got some age to it. And here's my Dremel. I don't use this too much here. I had this thing for whew, probably 10 years, I think. And we had cordless technology 10 years ago on these. It does eat through batteries. These are like the Bosch batteries. Little bit sets in here and everything. Kind of like just the Bosch. It's basically Bosch. It's, eh, it's not too bad. It's just, it just goes through batteries like crazy. And it gets, once it gets hot, I never really bothered to get the Milwaukee because um, I just don't use it enough to justify getting the Milwaukee. All right. It goes up there. And let's go to the next one here. Here we have uh, all my fluids. And this stuff is awesome right here. Stainless steel wipes and tubbo towels. Love it. It leaves a little uh, residue on it when you use it, but once you use a window cleaner on it once, it stays cleaner than just using regular window cleaner. It still leaves a little coating on there you can't see once you dry it off with the, with the uh, napkin and, uh, and that uh, window cleaner. It stays cleaner longer. I don't know how it does it, but it works very nice. Yeah, tubble towels, heavy duty stainless steel wipes. Got all the uh, easy red cups here. I think they're the ones that make it and the matco ones there's cornwell ones and there's uh other ones as well these are cool you gotta have these collapsible they fit in your drawers and everywhere uh, more cleaners and stuff up there my tape that's just a, a homemade master bleeder kit i made up there my fuel gauge snap on this is uh PB 149. I don't think it's the full set. Got to have one of these for fuel issues. The adapter for BMW. Need a bigger one too. Label all my stuff so I can see it easier here. Uh, got some microfiber towels there. And the AUTEL Maxi Check. Yeah, Maxi Check. Uh, I don't think there's a number on this one. This is the one that does all the oil resets and uh, battery resets. And if it doesn't, it will tell you how to do it. So on top of the OBD2, it's nice having that. And here's the FLIR TG275. Yeah, 275. This thing is awesome. Pretty cool uh, unit to have here. And, uh, especially for diagnosing heating and air conditioning and uh, heat issues, radiator issues, heater cores and stuff like that. Awesome. Uh, I've got my Benzomatic. This is a heater that you uh, attach to a squirrel fan. There's some vinyl wrap there and carbon fiber sticker. It's the uh, knife sharpener from uh, Lansky. These are the bees knees right here nice set to have very nice set and that is um, an old micrometer set Let's see here yeah an old cheapo micrometer set me too yosha i don't think that's uh, nope it's not <laughs> um, Got my detail sprays right there, and yeah, the other day I had the chance to use the box cleaners right here. Nice little bottle, you can store it away, you don't have to take up too much space, and uh, nice smell, very good stuff right here. Clean your box, nice and shiny, love it. Definitely good guys. Um, and over here, we have the your wrench O2 sensor set. This is a partial set in here. Um, we'll get onto the, the the ones that I have in there. I think I just had this and two other ones in here. This is the 41720 set. And here is the old Craftsman rethreading set that everybody gets. <laughs> and some other pieces in there, some snap-on ones. And uh, more rags.
bags. And let's get on to the last drawer here. Or storage thing here. My Mighty Vac vacuum pump. These erasers are cool. 3M erasers if you need to take any decals off or any kind of stubborn adhesion on your body of the car. That's the stuff to get. I got the number here. The 07498. Definitely a lifesaver right there. And that's the Mighty Vac. Start off at the top here. Oh, this is the set I just recently showed on my Instagram. The MSB T15A. Cool set. I'm using the breaker bar right now. And uh, these are basically Astro Pneumatic sockets here. This is the Nano sockets. And uh, Crow's Foot here. I don't know who makes these. And it might be Astro on these two as well. And I think this is 72 tooth, 72 tooth ratchet. And a good be belt set. Very compact. I can actually fit it up there. This is a plastic riveter set from Spitzenjul. Spitzen <laughs> uh, must have when you have uh, those fenders that use these gnarly rivets. You can squeeze in a tight space with these. These are nice dent, dent fix. And Spitzenjul is the one that makes it. I think dent fix renames it. And I have a run out gauge. Central. The Harbor Freight one, I think, barely been used. <laughs> and gloves, gloves, and more gloves. And uh, if you catch this, I don't know if I'll be able to upload it before the giveaway, but I have the giveaway going on right now for these. And these are the other cut resistant ones, firm grip. So very similar there. Some gear wrench, more firm grip and uh, some no names right there for solvent. We got a lot of gloves in there. Diamond grip is the everyday gloves I use. These are the thicker blue ones, which are good for fuel. Definitely have these for fuel tanks. They hold up a lot nicer with fuel. And spare one right there, because I was worried about the virus and all that stuff going on. They did shoot up in price tissues for when a mini comes in <laughs> and uh just super oh super lube gotta have that for your ratchets definitely super lube and some other stuff here and that covers my 3m drawers there the middle one's made by this company right here <laughs> and um yeah that's concludes the outside that's my phone wireless phone charger here Finally got a chance to clean it all up. It's usually just a pile on here. Oh, what a mess all the time. Just piled up. Everything just piles up here. Oh, uh, all right, guys. It's time to get to the main event here. <laughs> Whew, man, let's keep going. This is the Mighty Mighty Tool Grid. I believe I spent like 400 bucks on this altogether. But it's nice when you have uh, nothing to buy on the truck. You just, ah, just, just tell me, throw in a couple more little sets in here, little by little. You don't want to feel guilty when the guy comes in and you don't have nothing uh, you don't want to buy. Just uh, throw a couple of little sets in. They're not too bad, about 10, 12 bucks each, sometimes six bucks each on little sets. Just order a couple and uh, work on it little by little because that's how it's going to be. You're going to constantly grow with this set. So um, this set is actually half new, half old. All the red is old and the gray is new. They got the nice uh, rubber padding on them, on the gray. And this is Ulsa Tools right here. So these are their uh, bit holders. I love these Ulsa Tools bit holders, nice and rubbery. And you, you can remove each six pack there one by one. Holds everything nice, doesn't go too high. I can barely squeeze those in. The bits in there is one drill bit i couldn't fit in here but other than that they all fit in there um what else about the tool grid uh, 
website is Mantis Tool Grade out of Canada, who makes them for all the tool trucks. And then the tool trucks rebrand them, sell them on the tool trucks. And they do not sell online, they only sell through the tool trucks. Uh, you can get them online at matcotools.com though. Mac Matco, you can order them online. Uh, and I don't know where they're at now. There might be another site you can order them online. There is a knockoff brand one, I forgot the name of it, but it doesn't have the nice peg setup as nice as these. So keep that in mind. What else about the tool grid? Um, yeah, you can just add as you go, all your ratchets one by one, add, subtract, move everything you want. Um, my setup here, my setup here with the tool grid is uh, I want everything 3 8 half inch, everything most, for the most part, start at 10 all the way to 18 here. There's a break here that you can't um, get rid of here. Um, you can barely see it off to the side. You won't see it much, but it's cool anyway, because you know, this is 18 right here. So 10 to 18 and then uh, your three eighths basically max out like a 24, 22 usually. So that's why I have these O2 sensor sockets here. This is from the gear wrench set here or two of those O2 sensor sockets. This is a snap-on impact set, another snap-on impact set. I got little by little, one at one, one by one, and the, made it a whole set here. Filled in the 20, which we barely use. Um, and then the half inchers will go up to 24 for me here, which seemed reasonable. So 10 to 24 and a half inch. And it kind of stopped here. And then these are Weehaws. And they're a little bit bigger, so um, although the Weehaws are actually start right here to 24, right? Yeah, 24. So, and then they kept continuing on the Weeha over here. And this is a, a Sun X 36, which I use for axle nut sockets. I use this to suck in axle nuts on uh, axles through the rotor or the hub, so I can just get barely started. I made that just so I don't have to uh, use the tool to press it through, just to get a couple threads in and then get that lock nut on and then suck it through. Um, this is the gear wrench complete set all the way up to 36. I think this is a, not too pricey of a set, but it's definitely good. If you're not gonna be using all of them, I'm not gonna be using all of them, but it's nice to have a bearing erase or something or something that size, you need a socket that size and that deep. It's good to have them all. If you wanna push in a, a, a bearing or a seal or something. Um, and it goes all the way down to eight, I believe. Yeah, eight all the way to that. Wait, what was it again? It was 36, eight to 36, no skips, which is nice about gear wrench. They've been good so far. That's rust from a fastener there. Um, no stamped, I think. No, they stamped it on the back. 19 stamped on the back, so you don't have to worry about these. Uh, what's cool about the tool grid also is you can turn the uh, pieces there. Well, on the old one, you can turn them. On the new ones, you can't. That's what's cool about the old tool grid. You can turn them so they all face the same. Because a lot of these don't stamp in the same direction. See? On the, on the gear wrench. And these are uh, cheapo oil filter 3.8 set. So they're all 3.8 with large sizes for oil filters. Uh, miscellaneous uh, S and K, Snap-on Mac, and this is the spring-loaded Maco Tools set. I forgot the number, but it's spring-loaded all the way from quarter inch to half inch, which is cool. This is, I think, a Pittsburgh. I need to work on getting some Pittsburgh. There's still a little bit of Pittsburgh lingering on around here, and I'm trying to get rid of it all yeah, here and there. This is a Weha. Uh, this is Craftsman USA. Just can't get rid of these, man. It's just so good. Craftsman USA and Craftsman USA right here. All the way. Except for the 20. I couldn't find a 20 anywhere. Got the cheapo Chinese 20 right here. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, another O2 sensor socket from Gear Wrench. That one's cool. It has different things there, different angles there you can choose. Uh, S and K locking and non-locking pin, uh, snap-on reducer and a no-name to bit. I don't know why I would ever use that, but it's just there. 
<laughs> uh, the Vim tools offset little ratcheting bit drivers and the quarter inch insert bit there. These are pretty cool. And a thumb wheel, it's awesome. Nice little tiny ratchet with the little option on the end right there. This is also like a 5 16th insert right here. And um, they are cool to have. I need to get more use out of those. Uh, I need to find a situation so I can show those more. Um, these are the Sunex uh, sw pin swivels. I had these for a while, they're very good. Uh, that is a Hazet insert on two of these right here. These are magnetic inserts. Uh, the other Sunex have magnets in them. They're pretty nice, good to have. They're a little long, but uh, they work out very good. And uh, this is a Weeha Deep right here. Weeha and Mac Tools. And I believe I have, oh, here, here's the Koken with the magic ring. This is awesome. Koken, this is a cool little holder swivel right there. The rest are Mac. And um, Koken spark plug socket set. Um, this is, has a nice magnetic ring inside of it. It's pretty cool. And you can get around corners. I think I cracked a spark plug already with this, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I'd have to still use it more. I was like, that'd be a little dangerous there. It'd be cracking. Um, this is what I was using before is the AST spark plugs uh, for those turbo plugs on BMWs. Um, this is an SNK, I believe. Oh, this is a 5 8 SNK right here, yeah. And a no name 13 sixteenths. I still have it in my box. <laughs> and more O2 sensor sockets from Gear Wrench. And um, done with this side, except for the ratchets. Uh, this is my ratchet I grew up with since I first started. The swivel, the rotary plastic back. Snap-on F, ooh, what is this thing? This is the F748. And then here's the rubber padding on the end here. And you get the head right there and you can label them too, which is cool about these newer gray ones. Uh, the Capri, these guys saw those. Um, good on strength, but the these are getting a little floppy and the, the teeth are just still tight, so. Strength, good, but the functionality uh, on the low side, that's what I'm thinking about the uh, Capri so far. Um, this is the snap-on, long, with the uh, larger head on it right here, super strong. Um, this is the Capri half-inch, not too bad, so good on strength. I uh, wish it was locking, but other than that, Capri, still pretty good. The switches kind of stick out a little bit too. Not flush like the snap-on. Uh, this is a Pittsburgh breaker bar. Don't really use a breaker bar too much. So maybe d down the road I'll upgrade that. This is the snap-on uh, half-inch to three-eighths transmission extension. A Craftsman uh, old-school handle there. I use that to tighten transmission bolt still. Surprisingly, <laughs> uh, this is the Matco uh, reducers, quarter inch to, to not, not reducers, adapters to quarter inch to um, three eighths. They have a nice little thumb wheel on them, and it's a very low profile adapter. No detent there to hold the socket, so there's a magnet. Cool little set to have. Um, on with the thumb wheels, I have the knee pros, which are super, super awesome. Mirror polish. Nice rubber grip on them. This is a straight quarter to quarter. And this is a 3 8 to 3 8. So if you just want the thumb wheel action, that's what those are for. 3 8 to 8 also on the Koken. Uh, one of them is Zeal. And it has a tighter fit on it. The perfect fit with the Zeal. And here is the quarter to quarter Koken also as well. Pretty cool. You can find these on Amazon, I believe. or. Uh, Japan Amazon <clears throat> and uh, this is the double-sided Matco bit driver and uh, 
quarter inch on the other side. Super loose, very nice and uh, very usable there. If you ever have a little situation need it, it's pretty cool. You get a super tight spot with that. This is the Astro Gearless. I had this thing for years. It's reversible and no gear on it. When they first came out, it's pretty cool. The Astro on there. This is the new TT, what is it? The TKF72 Flex. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, I believe uh, someone just had all these, all the whole set, the 3 8 and the quarter inch um, flex and non-flex of these. These are cool uh, to have. Check these on the truck. I'm seeing them more now, so they're, they're all should be on the trucks by now. Um, this is the the new Wera Mini 3. I did a video recently on this. Very nice ratchet to have. This is the blue point set that I got with the larger blue point here and a little bit set. These are cool to have. So there's a long and short. Um, so quarter inch on one side, quarter inch on the other. And the Vera regular locking quarter inch. This thing is solid, super solid. It's strong. It's a strong, super tiny head on it for how strong it is. Awesome. The vessel with the uh, oily grip here. You can have your hands all oily and still have a nice grip on this. The small head, just the handle's kind of big. But other than that, uh, pretty cool little ratchet here. And we have the Nepros. Already scratched it. <laughs> I gotta get more use out of this thing, but um, yeah, super, super loose 90 tooth locking. The button sticks out a little bit on it and uh, the switch is not too bad. It's got a nice nylon um, infinite um, flex on there. This thing is supreme. Very nice. I gotta get more use out of this. So I'll get a, hopefully a video on this later on. The Koken is super solid. This one has a uh, ball detent right there in the middle. The rest just moves. Well, ball detent here too, I think, yeah. Or just uses the flat right there. Koken is super smooth, super loose. Zeal, the Koken Zeal. This is the 2726Z160. Super loose, very nice ratchet to have. More loose than the Nepros too. Yeah, very, two very, very nice expensive ratchets. T tiny head with the uh, three eighths. Very nice ratchets to have. This is the the uh, most nicest ones I have right here in this section. Um, the Stavella, a little tighter, but it's nice. I keep this Stavella adapter on it too. So Stavella makes them also well, so it's locking on here. And um, the Greer Wrench 90 tooth. This thing is solid. Uh, I just put this in the box now. Tested this one out. It is good. Nice and solid. Good ratchet. Same gear wrench quality right there. I recommend that ratchet definitely. Um, even starting out and as a professional, those, uh, those 90 tooth are really nice right now. And this is the Titan. Uh, you get these at O'Reilly Parts. Um, Pretty cool little uh, EDC ratchet to have and uh, nice rotary action on there. Pretty cool. It doesn't bend all the way with the socket on there. Socket will get stuck right here, but over here it'll actually go straight. It's pretty nice. More colors coming soon. Actually, I think they were supposed to send me more colors. I gotta get a hold of them. Um, yes, yeah, so they have the new colors coming out soon. And um, on with more. My sockets here i have mac stavella these are nice to have stavella all the way up to here these are lyle and i think some pittsburgh in there i think and up here we get back to stavella which are nice to have very good um impacts and you work on getting more impacts because i'm using the guns more on these stavella over here and some mac and craftsman it's kind of a mix here because i i uh with BMWs I use a lot so it's kind of getting crazy there and this is a whole set from Mac all stubby set Mac all the way up to T60 and here we have a what is it called a Vim tools Torx here 
snap-ons and gear wrench right there on those. And um, this is a Hazette, I believe. I just got this one. So I'm working on getting these uh, Pittsburgh ones out of here. And it's very hard to find German impacts and the Hazette is kind of thick. So Hazette's thick, and well, it's not too bad. Uh, this is a super thick S and K right there. I don't like how thick it is, but it's working so far. These are the countersunk snap-on ones. I believe there's only four sizes. There might be one more size on it. You, every once in a while, you'll come across a, a Torx that is super flat. So that's what those are for. Um, we have, um, these are more snap-ons right here. You actually get a quarter inch E12 right there with a snap-on more snap-on Torx and this is a Heiko I gotta get more use out of that Heiko is not too bad made in Germany and um, some Cornwell ones I want to get these corn ones out, out of here they're too thick there's a snap-on one for um, drain plugs but I got these AGA tool drain plugs for transmission. These are awesome to have. AGA Tools has this set. It's about 75 bucks here. And you can get on the side of a transmission and sneak this out with a wrench right here. And it gets uh, it has a magnetized end on there to get the drain plug out, which is nice. I like that. So these are all 13s on the back. I use this to hold these uh, holders here to hold it. They're all 13 on the back. And these are the drain plug sizes, an 8, 12, 10, I think, and a, no, 12 and 14, I believe. Nice strong magnet on them. And then here are my Vera's. Super strong magnet. Oof. Vera holding function and non-holding function. Nice color coded. Keep in mind that the holding functions will, are super thick. And uh, the non-holding functions are really nice. They got knurling on them. Um, and a nice full set right there, all four, all the way to 13. Vera, awesome sockets. Even though they're made in the Czech or uh, Vietnam, they're still to German quality standards. Um, next up in the ratchets, we have the Tone uh, 3 8 with a quarter inch body. This thing's pretty cool too. Nice uh, ratchet to have. The Tone, um, here's the Part number right there, RH3FCH. Um, we have the right, I'm not liking this one so far. I dropped it on the floor and, and the snap ring came out. Um, not too fond of it. It's kind of, no, it's nice and loose, but I need to get more use out of it so I can say more about it. That, that's the right um, 3430, I think. Yeah, 3430, three, made in USA. That's your typical quarter inch with the three eighths head on it and uh snk breaker bar here nice knurling on that one um gear wrench locking i think it's like a wobble plus snap on and this is a snk locking um miscellaneous bits there snk i think right there and uh, this is the Motive X spring-loaded quarter inch. So Motive X makes those spring-loaded ones as well. And then the spring-loaded uh, Matco one right here. And uh, just a regular elbow there, locking gear wrench. Another Wobble Plus there, regular snap-on here. No, Wobble Plus snap-on, a locking uh, Mac right here. Um, we're a bit driver, and then this is the recent where a low profile ratchet here. I showed you the sockets earlier. And this is a Swiss Army knife bit ratchet. It's about the smallest bit ratchet you'll find. And it has a quarter inch on the end, so you can make it as long as you want. And a Vim tool, a 15 16 or 5 16 on one end and quarter inch on the other. Um, step bits. Some uh, no-name nut drivers there. Some old locking Vim tools. I got the new ones on the cart. Uh, yeah, just a whole bunch of miscellaneous bits. The Veras are nice and short on the end to prevent stripping or tweaking and twisting. Those are nice. More Vera. 
and some Weehaws in there. And uh, yeah, um, this is a cool little reamer driver there. Ball ends here, I think these are Vim. More Vim, this was a part of a Vim set. And uh, a Weeha, I think, no, it's a Vera right there. And this is a wrench adapter to quarter inch. Just miscellaneous stuff right there. My elbows, my adapters, and uh, magnetic craftsman right here. Yeah, it's like a magnetic set here. You put the socket on there and you got a magnet in the back of it. And uh, more Wobble Plus and an old school snap-on. I love these ones, nice and thin. Old school snap-on extension there. And we left off right here with a Koken. This is a snap-on quarter flex, snap-on quarter with the 3 8 head, the Tecton quarter with the detent on there. I think they get more use out of this. It's locking. Pretty uh, good for the price. There's the gear wrench, quarter wrench. This thing is awesome with the grip handle on it. Uh, the icon. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it, it held up pretty good. I had this on the cart for a while. It's not bad. It's actually not bad. This is the only uh, uh, Milwaukee ratchet I recommend. It's a 3 8 This is off the old uh, square uh, four flat set. It didn't have a full flat set socket set in there, but it had this in it in a, in a soft uh, pouch. This is a, a nice ratchet. Just get the set for this ratchet. It's awesome. This is everywhere he went over this one. Uh, this one's not too bad to pass through and locking. Um, it's just kind of wobbly on the, on that. Um, this one's super solid, and uh, yeah, it's 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 got some weight to it, and it's solid. So the Vera ratchets, if you like, nice solid heavy metal one. There you go, right there, heavy on the end, right there. Um, it's got the snap-on quarter-inch long flex and the snap-on uh, with the. A head a 3 8 head on there um, and a, a Viha locking um, 72 tooth there um, yeah that pretty much concludes it all here uh, too much there to go over there to go each in, in, individual one there uh, these Cornwell ones I'm getting rid of and I'm gonna get some uh, I'm gonna have a tool haul soon um, with these Star Villa ones hopefully and yeah, just, uh, there is my top drawer. This is probably gonna take me the most time here. And let's see if we can finish this box up and make it a part two here. On to the next drawer. Ooh, man, I had to take a break there. All right, wrench drawer. Wrench drawer, we have the Astro tool set here. This one's discontinued. Nice to have a nice deep uh, end on there and it has an angle set right here it's angled right here like that astro's coming out with the the oddball stuff that we don't normally see that's what's cool about astro there this is the toolbox widget holder uh they still need to work on some labels with the toolbox widget holder and um craftsman set right here came in a little pouch but looks pretty nice right here and uh gear wrench wrench adapter turn your wrenches into a ratchet here uh, the O-rings have to be replaced because they're falling apart. This set has obviously been old and it's, and it's locking, which is nice. Um, an old Craftsman belt crow's foot set here <clears throat> from a belt set. Stavella, best wrenches for me. Um, yeah, just the thinness and how strong they are. They are kind of wide, but the wideness doesn't bother me. I don't really use the open end too much. And um, yeah, I don't need uh, the flank drive on those. So, Stavilla, Villa, man, they are just awesome wrench. They fit so nice the way they are. Uh, this end is the main end I use and they fit so well. And then yeah, thin on this end is all I need. And it just makes them the best. It's super light, super light wrenches and how strong they are and how light they are best wrenches to work with. Uh, next up we have some e-torx snap-on ones. I have the uh, ratcheting ones uh, on order. They're a little shorter than this but it's cool they just came out with ratcheting ends so it has an end like this straight on one end and it has ratcheting on the other. 
pretty expensive, they're only like 400 bucks, but well worth it when you work on German vehicles and a lot of torques. Yeah, definitely a must have. Here is just a gear wrench 16, uh, zero offset and ratcheting on one end. And this is the gear wrench 120XP set. Not too fond of the spline drive, but um, they, they work. Um, one of the, my 10 millimeters kind of skipping. I need to warranty that one. Not skipping, but it's just kind of tight. Um, the monster wrench adapter here, you gotta have these. Definitely nice. And these are the Mac Tools holders right here. They are the longest you can find. Basically, basically your tool truck holders here. Uh, I cut this one off too short, but um, yeah, they, they go full length on a drawer like this. Um, I think these are 23 deep or something. And then 25 deep on the back, on the top here is 25. So these are about 23 right here. Okay, and this is uh, my leftover Capri here that I don't use from the cart. Uh, just a snap on 10 there. Uh, the old school USA gear wrench. These are awesome to have. If you can find a set like this on eBay, get the old school first, definitely. Uh, this is my Tecton 22. This is things a lifesaver. Made in USA. Nice polish on them. Super awesome wrenches. I may get more in the future. There's a Craftsman line wrench set here. Uh, gear wrench, super fat. Um, e Torx set here. Oh man, it's. it's it's, uh, I can't wait to get the snap-on set. It's super thin. This is just way too fat. Um, this is the old Craftsman USA um, <coughs> Western Forge there. Uh, PB Swiss color-coded Allens. These are awesome. You don't lose them. It's the uh, short Allens right there. These are cool to have. Um, this is a belt, I mean a water pump nut remover here. The set here is just two sides down here. Here is a uh, Craftsman Professional adjustable wrench, a workforce pipe wrench, um, and also tool standard set. Didn't think I would need it, but yes, I do run into standard every once in a while doing air tool fittings and stuff like that. This is the Weha Ergo Star with the uh, selector right here. It's awesome. They all uniformly move, so you can select one each, and they have a magic ring on the end that holds the uh, socket or I mean the fastener. Um, like it so much. I got two other holders for some loose ones out here. Got the wear loose ones here working good so far. They do fit. Here's an old diamond tool company or diamond. Uh, forgot the name. Yeah, diamond company. Here. This thing is a, a rare one right here. These are super rare. You can find these on eBay still barely. Um, Tecton Torx Allens, the Craftsman uh, USA key set. Should be still yet yeah, USA. I have the other green one at home for the metric. There's a Weha metric small set right here. Nice holder with the wire right here. These are cool rubber ends on them. Um, and the Olsa came with its own little rubberized uh, wrench rack there. And this is an old um, uh, distributor tool right here the, with the 13 distributor wrench. Um, that concludes the wrench drawer. I'm getting into an hour almost here. Also tools holder, these are nice. Um, definitely holds everything in the front here. Even holds these small picks right here. It's awesome, Vermont American. Snap-on picks, snap-on long picks. Uh, I love this handle, it's my favorite handle right here. This is a must trim tool right here. The old school set, I lost the middle size one. I only have the small and the long, um, super old set, but these handles are just, I love these handles. They're the best handles ever made from Snap-on. I wish they would bring them back. Uh, it's a Mac trim set, Mac pick, um, a spark plug boot puller, a door panel, um, crank remover, more trim stuff here, a toolbox widget running along the top here, old Craftsman files, super scrapers made by Mueller Coops. Uh, Rebranded by Miller Coops, actually. And these are actually still the super scrapers. Hard carbide tip on there, won't chip or anything. And it's just a nice square end right there to remove gaskets. I have a uh, pick a nut thing here. Another shorter one there. More trim pieces here. This is the Lyle connector tool, removes connectors. Uh, the SK trim tool here. Poke the little 
trim pieces here. Awesome little tool right there to have. The Matco spoons, made from Lang tools, I believe. These are good for um, supercharger hoses. They're really tight on, on the pipes. And they're really good to get a nice round flat edge to get underneath there. A Mac scraper. This thing is awesome. I wish I had a better handle on it. I just love this, the flatness of that one. And I just love this pick to get under hoses. It's, it's a really good pick. I just want to like, I, I, the ultimate pick like this, a 90 degree like that, would be with this handle. So that would be cool to have that handle with a pick like that. That would be ultimate right there. Uh, Snap-on scraper. And I still have Pittsburgh lean ring round. <laughs> uh, long pick set with instinct handles there. Oh, and then the radiator hook pick tool here. I got a lot of radiator hose tools in this drawer, definitely. Oh, that one fell out because I messed with it. But they do stick right in that little spot right there, which is nice about these also tool holders. This is custom. I cut it right here. Check out my video on that just recently. And you guys all know about this one. Roll gear is my favorite, so I put it up here. Vessel tools. This comes out and it has a ratcheting stubby here that goes into the solid one here. You have to replace this whole unit if it goes bad, but that's cool right there. This is my my new uh, micro finish here. This one came from an Easter set. These are awesome with the striking end on them. These are really solid, just like the these right here with the striking end, the Weha. And this is the Wera version and the Weha version here. Uh, just in case doing an electrical stuff, that's here. <laughs> I was just using it as a Phillips. Some Torx, these are awesome. They just get dirty and you gotta clean them. So this handle is pretty cool. Nice grip on them. Uh, they just get dirty. I have the long Torx set right here. And this thing is solid too. Uh, I believe it has a striking in on it also as well, I think. Um, let's see. Yeah, striking in on that one. They're not yellow for some reason when they get that big. It's, I believe it's just black when they're that big. And then uh, I just have that one set up like that. Super 14 millimeter end on that one. The thing is just ginormous. Nice if you need a flat end like that. This PB Swiss coin driver is amazing. Super awesome grip. That grip, you just can't beat that grip. The other one is on my cart right here. They do stay a little dirty, but it's just an awesome grip to have. Super nubby end on that thing. Awesome. PB Swiss is just the best out of all. I, that's why I believe the best screwdriver out of all. Um, got the nut driver sets from Stavella. They're nice and thin. Super expensive set. <laughs> um, got the Work Pro video with the comparing the uh, Husky one. A little bit different, almost exactly the same, but there is a little difference in both of them. Check out that video deep down. I still need to work on this uh, Philo more with the ergonic handle. This thing is awesome. That's nice ratcheting, um, pivoting driver there. Uh, this is the turbo, the new turbo. Um, yeah, um, basically has to be on a not so tight screw because you're gonna be holding onto this end and it's gonna be turning four times as much while holding on this end or you can lock it and use it as a regular bit driver. Um, but if you do a lot of small fasteners that don't need much torque to remove, that is your speed way out right there. Got the T-handle here and a stubby here. And these are little awesome, nice little bit drivers as well. Got the old school stubbies here. Um, a ratcheting Milwaukee and a non-ratcheting Milwaukee uh, driver here. Has a couple little extra features there. And the Viha. This thing is cool. <laughs> Got the bits in there. And it's just a regular bit driver on the end. Got the um, the stubby pick quick. These are nice, nice finish on these um, bits. And um, some more Vera here. Where's my other pick quick? Uh, pick quicks right here. This is the six pack. It's cool. You just push them through, and it comes out of the end. And Teeny Turner's somewhere else uh, have that. And then the Weha T handles here. These are nice to have too. And <clears throat> let's go on to the pliers drawer. Pliers drawer is getting kind of full. I need another row going. And, uh, but I just have it this way for now. 
which is not bothering me too much. These are the Python old school um, Mac um, pliers here. Awesome sets to have. If you have a Mac guy, definitely jump on those plier sets. Super cheap, like a hundred bucks, and you get a ton of pliers. Uh, this is the um, Knipex long needle nose. The Cobra hose clamp ones. So I finally got the small one here. And this is a, a different type of clamp there too. Those ones that are a pain in the butt to, to cinch together. You can flip it around and remove it and install it. They all, there's also uh, auto locking ones too. This is an old um, pinch off here. Uh, this is probably a Lyle sideways clamp plier clamp for um, CV boot clamps. This is your regular CV boot clamp style here. Probably a Lyle also as well. Uh, old Craftsman channel lock here. These grips on these Knipex are really nice here. Super strong pair right here. Uh, this is another Max set I got. You get just a whole bunch of these in, in a bag and everything. It's nice, awesome to have. Spark plug puller makes that. Um, there. I just recently got this SNK pinch off. There's another no name hose separator. Hose on one end, line on the other. It'll separate a hose easy for you. These are to remove um, lug nut caps. Another trim tool here. Hammer for, for doing tires. It's a snap on. Uh, if you got a stubborn radiator cap, these are cool to have. Uh, oil filter wrench, Matco trim. Um, Little separators here. That's cool to have. Um, a uh, Matco other trim tool here. An old um, man. That crow is going crazy over there. Um, Mac. Oh, no, this is a Craftsman little set here. I might replace these with Knipex later on. These are a cool electrical set right here. A easy red Kiwi set here. These are awesome if you want to get into a tight place there. A little mini Cobra. I'm getting the, the Cobra mini, the nano one soon, hopefully. And uh, the uh, ignition pliers from Channel Lock. Flush cutters for those zip ties. The Knipex flush cutters, angle and straight. Um, we have another Mac set. I think this is Python as well. Yep, Python hose. Uh, we have the hose one uh, from Pittsburgh. This is a Mac long Mac Cobra. So this is the, the tighter nose one. Oh, this is the one right here. The tighter nose this is a regular Cobra here. And it gives you a door. The door is pretty nice to have too, as well. Made in Germany. And, um, we have Knipex Needle Nose, the Lyle Relay Remover. This thing is awesome for doing connectors. Very nice and thin, it gets into tight places. And we have um, the hose, the only hose tool that Knipex has. I don't know why. I wish they had more of a selection of the hose ones. There's a duck bill. The vampires right here. Vampires, these are things that are awesome. They they don't let go. <laughs> Very nice to have. Knipex straight, Knipex angle, dolphin nose, no name snap ring, the bent hose, and Knipex hog ring pliers. I forgot who made these. Cornwell snap ring pliers, blue point snap ring pliers. Just did a video on these. Sanudas, they're nice. They hold the wire clippings to prevent a mess. Booties for the um, Cobra are down here, and the booties for the, the wrench are right there. Uh, a cheap exhaust cutter, those things suck. Uh, cheap oil filter wrench, heavy duty Knipex snap ring pliers, and that does the flyer drawer. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna need a chair for the next one. Whew. Here we All go. right, so here we have kind of a mis miscellaneous drawer here. Uh, this thing is cool for doing BMW um, tensioners on belts. Uh, this is a belt tool as well. Awesome second fingers to have. 
or route the belt through if you don't have one of these. Man, these things are lifesavers. Um, this is my old Craftsman belt set here. This thing is super cool. It's welded on 3 8 right there. And this is the adapter for half inch, made in USA. This thing is pretty solid, never broke it. It just welded on right there. Same as the half inch welded on right there. And pardon those crows, those crows are getting really loud. This, is, this one's okay, this, this uh, Vera one, it's not that strong. I just have it there. I have my Craftsman tape measure, old school one right here. My newer Hazette one with metric. And uh, this tucks away so it doesn't open on you, which is pretty nice. You don't want it to open on you. And then uh, Lyle uh, spring clamps, locking spring clamp, super long set. There's a bent one too. These things are pretty cool, man. And um, tire repair tool here. Here's a tight reach. Uh, it's a nut holder, so you can hold a nut in a super tight area. And you can do hose clamp um, springs also with this. It's just not strong enough. It's just a plastic thumb wheel on the end, but I figured it's just a gimmicky tool. This tight reach makes it just uh, just like an extension clamp holder. Just, that's all that you're gonna get out of it. Just gonna hold that. Uh, my um, snap-on quarter-inch torque wrench here. An old Craftsman one. Uh, we have a belt holder there. Miscellaneous brake tools, a seal puller, a Lyle compression checker, spring tools. These these are awesome. They have like 3,500 psi of force as a chisel. No hammer needed, so they spring back, and you could take uh, hinge pins out on doors. You could chisel stuff, make a, a mark, center mark, really hard. They they do really work. You could take a caliper pins out with these. Um, get these on Amazon. Don't go to the website. It takes forever to get them off their website. Um, there's the information right there. Uh, hopefully you can find a set on Amazon and uh, get it sooner than the actual website. Uh, more brake tools here, pipe bender, no two sensor socket tool, wrench, uh, spark plug, double sided snap on here. I mean, double, double hinged snap on here with a nice knurling on the end. These are cool to have. Uh, doing uh, Camaros and Thunderbirds, old ones here. These are extensions right here for a uh, special tool for BMW uh, gas um, fuel pump lids. Uh, telescoping set there for measuring pistons, antifreeze hydronometer, whatever it's called. Clutch tools, miscellaneous uh, pin punches, chisels, nothing to brag about there. Um, battery tools and sandpaper stuff here. A Lyle a stud installer has a bearing on it so you can install a, stud, a wheel stud for your lug nut. This miscellaneous um, special tools, snap-on tire valve tool. This came off a, a refill can out of a parts store to refill AC. But it's a good little quick checker right there. Gives you red or green. Tells you if there's any Freon in the system. These are nice right here to remove um, these guys right here. You just put them on there and twist and it, it removes it. All you gotta do is pull up and it takes it off. Let's see if I can do it one-handed here. Boom. Makes a perfect circle so you can remove this type of fitting there. Uh, it's a Mac set. Uh, other other companies rebrand these as well. Mac, Macco actually, Macco has this set. This is the Macco set. Pretty cool to have there. A little uh, O light UV light right there. Super tiny. Super bright for how tiny it is. Um, my manual gauge for AC. These are cool to have. These are the Night Ease um, straps. A Japanese manual caliper there, the rulers, miscellaneous stuff there. Just kind of a special tool drawer, that's all here. Um, just wanted to go over that one real quick. Gotta have your hood prop too. 
All right, and down the bottom drawer here, got the Ghidorah torque wrench. You remove that cap and it goes on the other side to um, tighten and to loosen. Pretty nice German um, torque wrench there. Got the snap-on um, I-beam here. Right there. The boss gave me that one. And this one as well, I believe. This is another beam style right there. Very nice. Cleaned them up. Cleaned the boxes up really nicely. Restored them. Very nice to have. Got my old um, um, tool grid pieces here. And that is a air tool, air hose uh, vacuum cleaner from Mac Tools. I barely use that. Um, it's good if you have like glass and a door panel or something. You can suck out the glass and it just goes into the pouch and you just dump it out in the trash can there. Got all my AC adapters from all my lights and stuff there. Um, this is a nice little set I'm coming up with here. Uh, my dad had a similar set. So this is kind of sentimental value here. And I'm um, just making it. SMK set here and this nice little case here. This is actually my dad's case right there. So that'd be cool. Little project there as I'm going along. This is left over from a wear tool check plus. Uh, this is left over from a Vim Tools ball end bit set. Has a nice uh, belt holder there. Some miscellaneous junk here. Uh, this is a gear drive line wrench set, I believe. Oh no, this is an offset gear drive set. Um, not too bad. Yeah, it comes in a nice pouch, so not too bad of a chrome job on that one. Um, and that concludes this set. Where's my, my, uh, my corn well um, air hammer? This thing's a beast. It's got some age to it. This thing has not let me down. Yeah, this corn well is the only corn well tool that has not let me down a Pittsburgh um, steering wheel puller set and Pittsburgh um, sheet um, one of these sets you can call it uh, one of those <laughs> yeah not too fancy there <laughs> all right and that concludes the bottom drawer cheap lockout set down there and some snacks and this super ginormous jaw of life right here with a bend on it these things are cool they're made by uh this is the gator jaws right here there's your part number right there made in usa the gator jaws these things are insane i won that in a giveaway i think there's no oil filter that will survive that <laughs> all right and that concludes the bottom drawer. And let's get on to this side right here. And this will conclude part two, I believe. Very expensive um, pin set here of, uh, where is it? 10 to, I believe it's, yeah, 10 to um, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So, yeah, a very small set from Snap-on, but it's the only one they make with an extension like that. Super expensive, but it is a lifesaver. They now have the e torques as well. E12, what is it? E8, uh, E10, E12, and E14 on a pin swivel super nice but they are kind of flush on the end so keep that in mind on these there's no countersink on those here's where the matco uh, breaker bar went some um there's this uh, uh more pittsburgh lingering around here uh weha or pittsburgh weha an old uh snap on uh, 13 12 point extension this thing is super old uh, I don't think they make this anymore. It is the the F uh, FLX M13. Yeah, I think it's super old. And I think they updated it since then. 
the Mac extension, locking, gear wrench. Okay, there's a Craftsman right here. Um, this is a must-have for BMWs. This is a Snap-on TM615. And to do the hose clamps, six millimeter hose clamps, you gotta have this thing. It's just the perfect length to just get in the tightest places. Uh, here's a long magnet, some more extensions. These, uh, I don't believe the guy sells them on eBay anymore, but he makes these custom. There's a quarter inch and three eighths, long and short. And these things are cool too. They're flexible and you can put them on your gun as a three eighths on the end. And you could put a, I fused a uh, hex bit adapter on that one. That's cool, this is a Milwaukee one here, non-flex, and just a Mac extension right there. Let's get on to the hammer drawer. And we're almost done, guys. This is the Voodoo Hammer of Stavella, Engineer's Hammer, 1,000 gram. They're called Stavella Engineer ha Hammers. This thing is insane. Nothing can get by that. That thing is a monster. It's a beast. No name mallet, no name, I think, uh, a cap puller. I still have some these dangerous uh, Milwaukee striking cap chrome chipping uh, piles of junk still around here. Those things, I don't trust these after hearing them breaking and chipping pieces, scratching and everything. I don't, I don't believe in these anymore. Uh, this is a seal remover. This is a cool option if you want to bang on that side and pull the seal on this side. This is a total lifesaver. You hold it right here and you hit it with a hammer right there. And it's a Mac right there is a part number. Pretty cool to have. An extra handle here. Snap on hammer. Craftsman indexing. No name, little small engineer's hammer there. Brass punch there. Husky makes these nice right here. Low budget. Oh, that's a USA. Oh. Hmm. Husky USA. Um, long flathead. These are hard to find some places, but uh, yeah, Home Depot, you can get that, I believe, still. It's more miscellaneous stuff here. An old craftsman. Um, this is my starter tool. I just arc a starter and get the starter jumped somehow, some, sometimes that way. I think that's a Mayhew. Right? No, this, is, this is the Mayhew right here. Chisel. Whew, getting tired here. Almost done. Uh, that's a Makita chisel right there. You can also use a Makita SDS ch as a chisel. Uh, this is my belt tool from Craftsman. Super big Craftsman 32. I shaved it down years ago. It takes off the, uh, not belt, but it takes off the water pump bolt off. And that's pretty much my hammer drawer. Just kind of a toss in drawer there snap on pry bar nice and blunt on that one i like how blunt that one is yeah and oh man almost there got the carbon fiber sticker i put on this one turned out pretty nice this is the power drawer logo there and yeah we have a mess in here <laughs> got the 9.0 octane right here in the middle power supply for my jacket here and it's getting crowded this is just a tray that slides back and forth uh, used a hot glue gun today actually it's nice to have a hot glue gun so i am going to get a smaller charger right here i've got somebody that's going to get me one and mail it to me so i don't have to get that deal with more extra batteries lying around i got way too many ryobi batteries everywhere so that's going to be cool I'm just going to send me a smaller charger so i can cram the ryobi in that corner an old impact angle milwaukee right there it's an m18 and this is the compartment back here for four plugs you can hide all your cables back there it's a super small drawer which was bigger that takes up the space there too it is on a rail and um, only one rail at the bottom on both sides and uh, it's a lot of weight in there right now so yeah getting crowded Got a rigid smaller charger in here to save on space. The wall charger down there, the Milwaukee heat gun. There's only one thing on it, just a trigger and an unlock to unlock the trigger. Well, it does have a light, that's about it. <laughs> and a raptor hook, that's it. No adjustments, that's it. No high, no low, just on off. 
sucks about it and you have to hold that down to keep it on it sucks um, yeah I wish they did a little bit better on that but that's that's your heat gun my old charger down there a boss charger and yeah pretty much it Whew. and there's a little slot down there you can put a little wall I guess right there move a wall back and forth and that yeah not much space in here oh man that is it for part two I am pooped Hopefully I get a part three going. Guys, thanks for watching. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, four o'clock almost. Almost time just for me to get out here, get something to eat. And yeah, thanks for watching part two. And uh, wait for part three, I guess. We'll get on to that one. We'll bang that one out. And thanks for watching, guys. On to the next.